that was a bit of a screw up. G'day everyone, this is Mark, and I am standing in for Robbo, who, if you don't know, has gone to gone back to the railway museum that he volunteers at. And he is uh, working with the mini trains today, and a little bit later we will be crossing over to him when he when he jumps into the stream. So in the meantime, you've got me and just me. Right, well, I see. No one here. Never mind. There. So I can sort of see what Robbo talks about when you're up here by yourself, you haven't got much to talk about, but hey, let's talk about, I wonder if anyone is here, top messages too, is anyone here, anybody listening? So let's have a bit of a, seeing, seeing I've got control, uh, there we go, let's go, coming up. Live cross to Robbo, our roving reporter. Hope Ro Robbo will get a chuckle out of that. Don't know. We don't know when Robbo's going to jump in. And <clears throat> do, 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 do. That's enough. Oh, here we go. Ah, comments. Here we go. No, I'm not disabled. I'm hosting the show for Robbo. So, uh, yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's not Robbo. He's going to be jumping in later. Robbo's kindly made me co-host to uh, to do this uh, little live cross today. Um, so. You're just going to have to bear with me with uh, what I've got to say and ramble on about. Yeah. Here he is. He's Robbo. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, settle down. How are you, Robbo? Good, mate. What's going on? Oh, well, I can understand it's a bit daunting. Um, I, I understand your, your nervousness uh, when you're in here by yourself with no one to talk to. Yeah. And uh, exactly, <laughs> Cap Captain Obvious in the uh, in the chats, uh, Kane, or oh, whatever his name, Kane something said, "Oh yeah, you're not disabled." Yeah, well, that's bloody obvious. So. <laughs> that's it. Oh dear. So yeah, uh, do you see me little ticker going across there? Uh, yep. Oh, you're not coming up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love it. You're. You're the roving reporter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it looks, looks like a beautiful day down there, Robbo. What's, give us a weather report. Um, mostly cloudy. Uh, the sun is out occasionally. <laughs> yep. um, scattered, scattered, scattered showers, as they say. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that what they say in all weather reports? Yeah, That's it. Most, mostly cloudy, scattered showers, you know, just got to cover all bases. Hey, That's, that's it. Yep. Sorry, I meant to do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now I just got to look at the top of my phone. Um, yeah, that's better. Um, but yeah, no, the weather's all right. But hopefully, it won't rain. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, we're all set up and ready to go for the start of the day. Uh, there is a whole bunch of people coming down, but I'm hoping they're going straight to the steam train. <laughs> what? Um... <clears throat> What um, what locos they got running today? Uh, the thirty class. Yep. Uh, yeah, thirty class is running down to Buxton today, and then we got the little mini train right in front of me. Yep. Uh, and that's it. 
Right, oh. So, do you want to uh, swing your camera around and give us a rundown on the mini train? Uh, I will in a minute. We've just got a whole bunch of uh, the public going past at the moment. Yep. Um, no, yeah. Yeah. The funny I'm thing not... is, hey, hey, Robbo. The funny, yeah. funny thing is, people, the people who are coming in, have either one been on camera this morning with family or loved ones, or maybe they've done a live stream or or a Zoom meeting. And number yeah. two, they're on camera when they come into the place because they're all the security uh, cameras. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, right. yeah, so you're, they're already on camera. Yeah. In, yeah. in this day, in, in this day and age we live in, yeah, there's no, there's not. Cool. Yeah, exactly. It's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. very, very cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm going to introduce you to somebody, Mark. Right. Because <laughs> you can hear his voice, so I might as well put him on camera. <laughs> So, this is Peter. G'day, Hi. Pete. How are you? Good, good. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, you're going well, going well. Bit of a morning to be out here with the train, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I've, I've got mine in the background there, so. You've got a 1926 steam roller. Ah, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cur currently working on, so it's taken taken me five years so far. I've still got a bit of work ahead of me. Yeah, right. I do it when, I, do it when I can, so. Yeah, yeah, labour of love by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's all a labour of love, and and I'm I'm also a silly fool for being involved in a rowing museum up near where I where I live. So, um, you know, I, I've been there, done that. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking looking for a good good day today. How many sort of people do you normally have on the mini trains? Uh, days like this, um, we're probably thinking 250 to 300 passenger yep. trips for us, somewhere in that order. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a pretty good one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, as opposed to the best four days where we get up to, to the 1,200 passenger rides, but yep. they like today, somewhere in that order. Yeah, yeah it's yep. good. Yeah. That's it. No, that's pretty good. Good numbers. Absolutely. Yeah. Most, most, uh, most, most clubs would uh, cry for that sort of... Um, that sort of uh, patronage, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like I said, I, I, I've done similar thing, similar things to you guys. I used to be involved with uh, Model Engineering Society. I had my own miniature yeah, steam right. locally, um, but uh, prefer the prefer the full size ones than uh, than uh, the smaller ones. But you got to take what you can get. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Might have our first customers here. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do we do we have our first customers, James? Yeah. yeah. I think we All do. Right. Hang on a sec. All right, All right. go for it. Um, we're uh, we might be boarding passengers. Cool. So what what's your actual job there today, Robert? Uh, driver. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not the ma I'm not the manager today. Peter is. Yep. Um, and but we've got uh, driver James on at the moment. I'll say James. We we had James on the stream the other day. Oh yeah, he was on the he was one of the passenger attendants. Yep. So, yep. Hello guys. James hey mate, up. how are you? Ready to go on the mini train. Cool. Can we uh, swing around? Let's have a look at the train, Robbo. That's better. Have a swing around. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, that's it. Yep. There we go. I can't, I can't wait. I, hang on. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna swing the camera around so I'm facing it right. Uh, hang on. Right on, mate. G'day, Ozzy. Robo. Yep. <laughs> hey, that's better. Oh, yeah. cool. Well, so that's, the mini, that's the mini train there. That's the one Robbo's going to be driving. Can you lift the lid on the tender? Yeah. The yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah, audio's good. It's a tender subject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been watching Rocky Horror too much. There you go. There's the motor. Yep. Motor chain drive, yeah. Yeah, and then there's yep. another one. There's another one inside there. Yep. So it's got two. And then, uh, then yeah, we got three carriages on the back. Cool. 
We've also got batteries just here as well. Oh, yeah, hang on. <laughs> yeah, so yep. the part that we sit on holds the batteries, yep. Yeah, there's eight yep. batteries. Yeah, and they're all obviously uh, deep, deep cycle batteries. Uh, we're open yeah. now. That's right. If you're catching the train, jump up there and come back afterwards. Yep, and we so we've got Roger the pirate in the house. He's saying good day to both of us. We've yeah, got Ozzy, the yep. brave Muriel. Well, cool. That's a new one for me. Awesome. Who so we got? got a bit, uh, Roger, Roger the pirate, Ozzy, uh, the brave Muriel. Yep. Nice. Hello. Yeah. So Robbo's Robbo's back at the mini trains. He's had a bit of a hiatus. Yep. And a bit of a breakaway, and he's uh, decided to go back and help out. And after a bit of a chit chat, and yep. hopefully, uh, so everything's going well so far. Yeah, 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 all good. Um, so it's just me, me, Peter, and James here at the moment. Uh, none, of, none of the bosses are around today. Uh, yep. So yeah, P Peter's in charge today. I, I chose to just be a driver today. Hey, no, that's all right. No, Robbo, that's that's probably the best thing, right? Yeah. Um, I also gave him a pay rise of double time and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double time and a half yeah. plus zero. Yeah, yeah, it's still exactly. zero. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, where did Peter go? He's run up to the cottage, I think. Okay. Yeah, so Peter's just disappeared for a minute, but uh, yeah, well, we'll I'll, 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 I'll take it for a spin Hello, in a minute. How are you? Take it for a spin in a minute Welcome and uh, show you uh, show you me driving it. Are you guys going on the cool. I'll, cool. I'll get... Are you going to come back and see me afterwards? Actually, what I'll do is come I'll on. I'll get James to take the phone. Yep. I'll, I'll go I'll go for a spin see spin. You guys soon. I'll go for a spin around by myself, so you guys can see it. Yep. Sounds cool. Uh, I have to have a co-driver when we got passengers, but when we got yep. no passengers, I can go around by myself. Yeah, yeah, that's that's understandable. Yeah. So do you, do you guys do you guys have a guard or you just have a co-driver? Uh, I no one else has a co-driver, just me. Um, because I <laughs> yeah. got bad, I got bad balance, so I I, oh, I, worry, right. I worry about falling off the train. So I have to yep. have a co-driver behind me to make sure I don't fall off. Yep. Um. Yeah. So. Um. So we're not going to see you doing any somersaults, eh? Oh, I sure hope not. Um, Mick, Mick, Mick on wheels would find that funny. <laughs> yeah, he would. But, uh, <laughs> he definitely would. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to decide if we should go for a spin now or if we should wait. Do you want to wait? Uh, it's up, up to you. You make the call. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, we're going to wait for the steam train to go because then there'll be no one around and then we can do it without uh, having to worry about passengers turning yep. out. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, because the, the busiest time for us here at Mini Trains is either just before or just after a steam train ride. Yes. Um, yep. And yeah, so at the moment we're just waiting for all the people to get on the steam train so that we we know that we don't have anyone for the mini train. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, once the once the steam train comes back, we're going to get flooded with people. Yeah, well, that that yeah. goes without that. That sort of goes without saying. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you. I'll, you you saw the other day the 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 view from the station over to mini trains. Yeah, so yeah. Today, let's... today I'm going to show you the opposite view. I'm going to show you right, from no. mini over to the steam train. So I'll, just turn I'll just turn, turn around. Turn around. Flip the camera around. All that sort of jazz. So there it is over there. Right, oh, no, very nice. Yeah, so that's that's our view all day. <laughs> yep. When that's I'm, hey, I'm that's a good view. That, that's a good view, Robbo. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So that's our view for the whole day. Uh, coming in and in and out of the station all day. It's got how many trips? It's got four trips. The steam train. Uh, three today. Oh, three three steam train trips. Yep. So uh, yeah. Uh, It'll be leaving shortly on its first trip. 
you know what time the first trip is, James? I can't remember. Uh, 10 30. Okay, so the first one's leaving at 10 30. Right, oh. Here we go. Got an announcement. Yep. 15 minutes to go. So that's the 15 minute call for the train. Yep. Uh, yeah, so the train will be leaving in 15 minutes. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera back to me now. <laughs> right, oh. It's uh, all about Robbo today. At, at the moment, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I think we. I'm pretty sure these all these people coming will go straight to the steam train. So yeah. Uh, once all these people go, I might jump on and go for a spin. What do they um? What do they charge for um a ride on the steam train? Is that included in the entrance, or you got to pay that separate? Fifteen fifteen dollars entry fee into the museum. Yep. And then more for a steam train. So do you know how much games for the steam train ride? Uh, maybe I can quickly look it up. Yeah, we'll get James to look it up and I'll let you know. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. And, yeah. And so, so the trip from there down to Buxton, how, how far and how long does it take? Uh, usually about 10 minutes by car to get yep. down there. Um, so about, and about 20 to 25 minutes with a steam train. Are you guys ready for numbers? Uh, yeah. So an adult is fifteen dollars just to enter the museum. Yep. It's an extra twenty dollars to make it thirty-five dollars for a train ride as well. Yeah, extra twenty bucks for a steam train ride. That's all right. Twenty bucks is all right. You know, you, you spend you, you spend more than that. You know, um, like for instance, the, my wife and I went out for breakfast this morning. and We spent more than that having having breakfast at the coffee club. So twenty bucks for a train ride. That's that's pretty good. Um, for, for what you get for 20 minutes, is that one way or is it down and back? Down and back, yeah. So what else you got there, Dave? Now, if you um, all uh, here for like two days, you end up like, you end up paying about $70, which is the same as an annual membership, which entails yeah. you for them and free train rides. Yeah. Yeah. For like yeah. Four months. Yeah. So if you're here twice, you might as well just get an annual membership. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like... Um, that's like a lot of the theme parks. If you go for the day, it'll cost you X amount. But if you buy an annual ticket, um, you know, you, you pay you pay for itself within the first two times that you go there. And, yeah. and a, a lot, especially a lot of the theme parks on the Gold Coast, because I, I used to work at Dreamworld back in my past. I, I drove the steam trains down there when, when they still had steam trains. Unfortunately, they decided to get rid of them. Big mistake on their behalf, but anyway... All they, all they could see was the money, the money, yeah. how much it was costing them, not what, not the attraction it was bringing into the people. Yeah. And um, you, you used to get regulars in there and, and some parents would actually buy a season ticket for the kids, drop yeah. them off and go down to friend's place and booze on and, or go to a pub and booze on while the kids are running around dream all by themselves. That yeah. was a common thing. It, it still happens to this day in all the theme parks. So, go yeah. go figure. Cheap cheap babysitting, actually. In saying that, you can get good train trip rides on public transport, like New South Wales Trainlink, and uh, I'm going to use Victoria's V Line as examples. So New South Wales Trainlink, six months, five hundred and fifty dollars, unlimited travelling, first class. You got V Line travel per day for nine dollars twenty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I, a lot of the pensioners up here in, in Queensland, they get a free, I think, two free train trips or something like that. I could be wrong, um, um, you know, but I'm not sure what it's like up here in Queensland because I don't go on the train all the time. I've hardly been on the train. Uh, even the train station for me is just like 10-minute walk away, uh, five-minute walk sort of thing. And... Um, <clears throat> um, you know... But there's all, all sorts of deals all over the place. In fact, um, 
uh, coming up next weekend, um, I have family members going down to for the Maitland, to go see the Maitland Steam Fest because, you know, you're going to see four steam locomotives in one place plus all the other uh, events that are happening. So that's that's going to be a big draw card. Yeah. Did you say you're going or you got other people that you know were going? Yeah, no, I, I won't be going, not this time around. Um, I'll more than likely next year because, um, what is it, nine... What are we? Nine, almost almost ten months ago now. I broke my ankle, so um, that sort of put put our plans back a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'll probably head to Maitland uh, next year. Um, but yeah, family members going down this time, and also friends are going down uh, this year as well. That's it. Uh, the brave the brave Muriel would like to know how far does the train go? Oh. Um. How far do you reckon Mr. Buck for? Uh, it's half an hour in the same train. Right? It's about 40 minutes return. Yeah. yeah. 10 Ks or so, 10, 15 Ks? Yeah, 20, yeah. 20 K. Yep. Yeah. A 20 K trip, yeah. But I, I'm going uh, to I'm gonna jump on the train now and show you how I drive it. Right on. Because there's not many people around now. Yep, go uh, for it. I'm just going to flip the camera around and pass it over to somebody. Righto. Whoever Sounds cool. To. So we're now going we're going now going to train cam. We're gonna see uh Robbo drive the train. All right, you wanna hold that? I can hold this. Yeah, you hold that. Make sure you don't oh hang on. Yeah, you're facing that which no, it is it. Oh. Right, there you go, there, now you can see Mark again. Okay. Hello Mark, I can see you again. <laughs> yeah, good day, mate. How are you? Can you go um can you hold the phone the other way for us? It just gives us a better uh, get a better better picture. How do I do that? You just turn the phone, instead of holding it upright, just go the other way, go horizontal. Oh, oh horizontal, That's sorry, it. yeah. Yep, perfect. And I will do some magic. Uh, no, I want to go the other way. Let's go this way. Um, no. There goes Robo. He's off and racing. <laughs> Is that that's a bit faster than walking speed, I take it, James? Uh, we got the GPS on it and one day, and it goes about, I would say, about seven kilometres an hour. Yep. Um, another one of our trains goes about eight kilometres an hour. We're allowed to travel um, at up to 12 kilometres an hour. Yeah, right. But the catches will never hit that speed because our trains aren't fast enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's right, Roger. Ro Robo's at work and he likes to play there as well. So, uh, Muriel, just to answer your question, um, I'm I'm not disabled, but. Robbo is. You can see in the video there, Robbo's wheelchair, and that's and he's sitting on the train, and that's quite easy to drive. Um, well, relatively easy to drive for people who've done it before. Um, it's even uh, relatively for those who haven't done. Sorry, James, you're breaking up there. Um, it's fairly relatively easy for people that haven't done it. Like, yeah, took me a day to. Uh, like get comfortable and confident with it, but it only takes a matter of minutes to understand the concept of driving it. Is this a um, is this a mini trains uh, system? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, 
Yeah, he goes, uh, the guy who runs mini trains has a quite a good selection. Oh, here we go. <laughs> go the other way, Robbo, go landscape. That's it. Yeah, you know, this is train cam with Robbo. Right, so what you can see in front of you is the controls for the train, and that's how Robbo is driving it. There you go. There we go. Well, that was good, Robbo. Thanks, mate. No worries, man. All good. Yeah, yeah no, that's good. Hope you've enjoyed that. Yeah, that was good. It's obviously pretty pretty silent. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's an electric. It's an electric vehicle, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll um. The the guy that um, builds those, uh, he calls himself Mini Train Systems, and yep. uh, people people can his website. Um, people can go to his website and buy different different sort of mini trains and. In that sort of setup, you know, the electric style and things like that, he's got a good range. And a lot of people have gone for that system because it's a lot of the work's already done, it's easy, it's set up, and you can just, you know, yeah, plug so it in and away you go. Yeah, well, that, that's the guy that taught me how to drive, the guy that builds those. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. Ro Roger. Yeah, Roger, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, just, I'll just need one sec, man. I'm just jumping back into my wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, mate, yep. Um, I'll just pass this back to James for a sec. Hey, guys. Welcome back, James. I am back. You know, if, if you hang around Robbo too too much longer, he'll have you on these live streams too. <laughs> well, he's conned me into some. He's trying to convince me to do some, and I've got a bit of um, spare time in May, so I might come and join you a couple of times. Yeah? Yep. Depends on Different. how um, Depends on how camera shy I get. <laughs> well that's why you flip the camera around and you show the train and you talk about the train and that way you don't have to put your face on camera yeah. see if i would smart i'd learn how to use this program but i'm not that smart well it, it, hey if you can learn to drive a mini train you can learn to drive the the um the software on the phone it's not hard got, well that's pretty uh, fair oh we've got, we got passengers i think all right well, sorry hey, i had to take the phone back because i think we've got passengers yeah no worries robert yeah uh, someone uh, Robbo, we got a question here in the chat. Uh, a, a lady by the name of the Braid Muriel. She wants to yep. know. She's got an undiagnosed neurological condition. She wants to know uh, what sort of condition you have. She was just curious. Oh, I've got spinal bifida. Right, spinal bifida, which is a neurological disorder. Um, I also have high Hydro, hydrocephalus, I think they call it. Um, the, the neurological part, um, or part of the neurological part. Yep. Um, where I have to have a shunt in my head to drain out brain fluid. So yeah, um, yeah. I do, I, 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 the disability of the whole body. Um, my legs are the worst. But yeah, it affects it affects my whole body. I, I can barely see the screen at the moment because of the sun. Yeah, you got if you if you swing around, you'll have the sun in your face. Yeah, I'll, I'll lean so forward. That, so over me. That, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty yeah. Good. What what time uh, what time did you get down there, Robert? What time? Uh, about I left I left home at eight thirty. Got here uh, probably twenty two quarter to nine. Yep. And. Uh, I was the first one here. <laughs> um, oh, you mean it's going to be late? Yeah, so. <laughs> um, and yes, brave Muriel, we can be friends. Um, just keep keep uh, keep coming on here. Come back at 8 o'clock tonight, Sydney time, and we'll have a proper chat then. Uh, I'm, I'm too busy working at the moment, but uh, the train's about to go again, so I'm going to... Oh, I'll show you. As a, I'll show you as a trip with James driving. Yep, perfect. So.
Now, one rule we have is just like every other top one train service, we have to leave late. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? He said, just like every other train know, service, we have to leave late. <laughs> well, we better not go to Japan. <laughs> That's it. What's the uh, shed in the background there, Robert? That's the co-op shed. That's where we store our mini trains. Oh, right, eh? Yeah, and that's one of the oldest buildings in Thormir as well. Hey, uh, you should be getting close for the train leaving. Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, it should be leaving any minute. Is it? Is it 10.30 yet? Yeah, well, it's 10.31 according to my clock here. Oh, there you go. So that just like just like James just said, um, it, it's a New South Wales train, so it has to leave late. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe they need a lesson from the Japanese because the Japanese pride themselves in uh, leaving on time. Yeah. In in yeah. fact, I heard a story where um, where they um, they left thirty seconds ahead of time and they had to issue an apology for leaving early. Oh no, that's shocking. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. The Japanese are very punctual with their train timetables. It's it's quite fascinating, actually. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it on the steam train for now because it is supposedly about to leave. And you can watch this, you can watch a mini train come past in a second. Uh, Muriel, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, this is. This live stream today that we're doing is a bit um, is a little bit unusual. Robo normally goes live at about eight o'clock uh, each night. The only night he doesn't go is on a Monday, and uh, but I've Robo's recently asked me to come on as co-host. So today we're doing a live stream uh, from his um, from the new uh, from the Thilmia Railway Museum in New South Wales and uh, where he's volunteering uh, to operate uh, him and a few others are operating the mini train uh, there today yeah and this theme train is definitely going <laughs> So in the in the chat, I've just put the link to the New South Wales Railway Museum, um, where anybody can go and click on that link and have a look and see see what's there. Um, also, see information about the mini trains that Robo uh, operates and up and coming trips and so on. But they also, um, like most organisations these days, have a presence on social media and that is uh, Transport Heritage New South Wales, which I must admit is, is very good. It's great to see what they're doing for um, rail yeah. heritage in that state. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the... Um, Now that's the sound I like. <laughs> yeah, I see that.
There you go. There we go. Oh, train is, the train has now left the station. All right, ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um. <laughs> good timing. <laughs> yeah. That was good. <clears throat> yep. Um. Yeah. So, what else? What else? Would you like to know while I'm still. <laughs> Well, the winning lotto numbers, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say is about mini trains. Uh, I showed you the batteries. I showed you the motor. I showed you the gauge. Yeah. Uh, the workings. We know We know how it operates. No, that's pretty good. Yeah. As long as – and it's – I think it's a good, good addition to the Railway Museum because it – most railway museums or museums in general are pretty static and one, one thing I've learned is that people like to see things moving because yeah. I, I know that with the, the club I'm involved with you know, they'll come through you know our, our shed where we've got various displays and things like that and when they're not operating most people just walk past them and when they actually are operating they'll spend that little bit more time there and watch it work and go on and if if our members are there, we'll explain how it works and what it does and things like that. And yeah. with the steam traction engines and that, when you know people go, oh, they they see us, you know, building up steam and getting them ready in the morning, and they go, oh, you, you're going to be leaving soon, and we usually say, yeah, we'll we'll be going in about a half an hour's time, sort of thing, and because they they like to see it going, you know, it's yeah, it's something that most people haven't seen. Or have only seen in a TV or a movie or a documentary or something like that, and exactly. when they actually see it in person, it's sort of oh wow, my god! And then they go, you know, they realise how old it is. You know, that's, yeah. So um, that's it. That's um, that's probably a video I should share, eh? One, yeah. one of my videos from my YouTube. You you won't get a copyright strike for that. No. No, I won't, I won't get anything for that, no. So, so what, what What? time do you go to, Robbo? What? Uh, we'll probably be out of here about four, yeah? Yeah. yeah four uh, four o'clock, yeah. Yeah, and and you take uh, take turns and having lunch each day separately? Yeah, I think we're all going at the same time today, aren't we? I think so. We'll see how we go. We'll yeah. Up, yeah. 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 There you go. We're, all, we're just going to shut down and go to lunch together at, at yeah. In lunch time, so yeah, yeah. Uh, is there food available on on site? Yeah, there's a there's a, ca there's a cafe. Yep, cafe in the museum. Uh, we usually go across the road to the like the the pie shop or the kebab shop or. Uh, would be, wouldn't mind going to the pub as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I um, I used to go to the pie shop myself. Yep. Usually get the same thing. I usually get myself a sausage roll with sauce, a chocolate donut, and a can of coke. Uh, <laughs> so that's a, that's usually my my uh, roll museum lunch. Um, so the, and, the sugar sugar keeps you going, does it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Gives eleven teaspoons, eleven teaspoons of sugar in the uh, in the coke, and yeah. another eleven teaspoons in the donut. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many carriages did the uh, thirty class have behind it? Three or four? Three. Three. Yeah. Just like just like our mini train. Yeah, three. And that. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. 
our mini our mini train our mini train carriages are painted the same as the the main, the, the loop line carriages. Yep. Yep. Giving you a little uh, uh, tap there. Stop blowing the horn, James. I can't hear what Mark's saying. <laughs> <laughs> You'll meet, you need a set of e e AirPods, Robbo. Pardon? You need a set of AirPods. AirPods. I don't, I don't use them much. Um, maybe yeah. maybe on the live streams you might have to use them. might be better for you. Yeah, especially when I'm working with James at the mini trains. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's all good. I only muck up now, James. It's all good. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's good. Do any rolling? Are we good, you reckon? I feel yeah. all right at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Muriel, the train is a uh, new, it's a train yeah. from New South Wales, um, and it runs on standard gauge track, which is four feet eight and a half inches. Yep. The actual uh, how big is the thirty class in terms of weight? Is it about a oh, ninety geez, ton loco or something like that? You're not sure. I'm not sure. You got any idea on the weight of the 30 class? 30 class. It's more than a ton. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no shit, James. Um, <laughs> I think the coal in the back's more than a ton. Oh, well, it is. Yeah, it's probably 10 ton. Of, oh, yeah, I'd have to look up the specs. But anyway, yeah, it's a fairly big train. Um, yeah. And how old is it? It's, it's about 90, 1903. 1903, so it's older than my steamroller behind me. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually a hundred. It's a hundred. It's a hundred years old. No, 120. 120. There you go. 120 year old train, and it's been restored to working order. Yeah, and it, and it was it was restored to uh, replace a, a, a locomotive that was ten year, ten years younger than it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got more customers. Yeah. If you got to go, Robo, you go and do your thing. Yeah, I, I probably should go soon, actually. Um, are you going to stay on? Or? Yeah, I'll stay on for a little bit. I might um, share a couple of videos uh, of mine. And, um, and um, yeah, I might uh, – I'll stay on for a bit. And then then I'll let you – if you want to come back on at some stage, go for it. Um, yeah, well, if you stay on for – I'll come back on when I can. Yeah. Was, uh, was Miss Austin going to be able to make it today or not? I don't think so, no. I think she said that she, she couldn't make it until about 2 o'clock our time. Oh, okay. Right, righto. And I don't think we'll still be on then. No, fair enough. Do you, you didn't want to do anything later on? Um, no, no. We'll just do this and then uh, come back at 8 o'clock. Yeah, righto. No worries. No worries. No. I, uh... Yeah, no, we'll... we'll... If you if you want to if you want to stay on for a bit yourself and I'll come back to yours in a little bit. Yep. Um, we'll do it that way. Um, All right. So I'll, I'll 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 stay on here for a bit and ramble on and and <laughs> um, you know make a nuisance of myself and uh, <laughs> share a couple of my videos and um, and uh, then then yeah I might end it you know a bit later on I'll, I'll wait till uh, you come back on. All right, no, okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a little break and I'll come back to you shortly. Right, no, no worries, Robbo. Thanks for, um, thanks for coming in and and letting me host, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. All right, see you soon, man. See ya. Bye. Righto, there we go. Thanks to Robbo. Nice little uh, live cross. So what we'll do now is we'll go to YouTube. So I'm going to share a video. Uh, oh, hang on. Bear with me, folks. I'll just get.
get through. Right. Right, I'm back. I'm just finding a video to share. Hello, Laura. Uh, you've just missed Robbo. He was doing a live stream. He's gone gone back to the mini trains at the Rowie Museum down in New South Wales that he uh, volunteers at. And he's asked me to co-host and I'm uh, fumbling my way through. So I'm just going to share a video. As soon as I work out how to do it. So present. And oh. um. It's not it. Sorry, folks. I'm just um, no, okay. Oh, thank you, Laura. I'm stumbling my way through things at the moment. I'm trying to share one of my videos. Well, this is end up being a lot harder than what I thought. So, stop here, is it? Uh, Muriel, my name is Mark, um, and Robbo's let me host this today on his channel. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't panic, everyone. And it's easier said than done. Hmm. Medicine Man, hello. Thanks. Um, yeah, it's good to see you in the chat. I was trying to share a video, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to work out how to do it. However, so you're just going to have to put up with me for a second. I'm trying to work this out. Because I've, uh, I have shared it before, but... Ah, there we go, shares green. Hey. Right, here we go. Right, -o. sorry folks, we just got to go through the ads. I've got it on silent. And so before we get going, go. right, I'll just give an explanation on what it is. This is the club I'm involved with. I live in Queensland, which is a state of Australia for those not familiar. I'm involved with a vintage machinery club, and this is just one example. This engine, uh, this this is a road locomotive built around the same time as my steamroller back here in the 1920s. Um, it's privately owned. It's been lovingly restored, and um, you'll, you'll see it backing out of the shed here. So we'll just roll the... And I'll come back.
So our, our club is located on a bit of a hill, so we have to back the engines out uh, when we do this. It's usually um, usually once a month that we do this, and we have a bit of a steam festival uh, around in June. The club itself is located at Old Petrie Town. It's um, northwest of Brisbane. Um. Neurologists are shocked. They have found that tinnitus could wipe your memory in less than three years. There we go. Well, the video goes a little bit longer than that. Um, but, of course, we've got to put up with the ads, unfortunately. Um, So this, this next video, which I'll show, this is where we, um, this is where we lined up the engines for a photo shoot. Not really the right time of the day. Um, and it's gonna get quite loud here because we're gonna blow the whistles all at the same time. All these, all these engines, uh, so, Steam traction engines and steam rollers, they're all around this roughly the same age, around the 1920s, around 1900s sort of thing. So there you go. And let's stop that. Let's put in plenty of examples. There we go. So that's what I do in my spare time sometimes when I'm not at work, when I'm not working at this thing here. And, um, you know, you go and volunteer your time and help out. And like any club, we have our uh, ups and downs and, uh, and uh, uh, Muriel, no, they're not trains. Um, they're road steam. Um, so they're still powered by steam, but they go on the road. And back in the day before modern day road rollers and trucks and things like that, um, this is what built a lot of uh, towns and places and things like that. That's how we did it, you know. Um, of course, the, the timeline of internal combustion engines were, they were around, but um, they really made their mark in the First World War and of course the Second World War, um, where internal combustions really came to strength. And um, yes, these are old, they're inefficient, but it's not something we do every day. Um, I'll let, I'll let Robbo make that decision, um, Muriel, to show uh, your channel on his live stream tonight. Um, as I'm co-host, I'm, I'm just feeling my way. This is my first time doing it. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll respectfully, I'll just say no at this stage and talk to Robbo and he'll make that decision because um, this is his channel. So... Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm not sure uh, what your your channel is, and being Robbo's, and this being Robbo's channel, I'm only hosting for the moment, so uh, I'll let Robbo make that decision. Um, so yeah, so um, well, hopefully we'll have Robbo back soon. Uh, he's down at the mini trains, and uh, what else? Uh, if there's other questions. Oh, he's Robbo, speak of the devil. Here he comes. He's back again. Yes. Come and drive it. 
I, I, I believe you were talking about me. I was actually just watching on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I was fumbling my way through, Robbo. Yeah. How'd you go? Oh, I think I did all right. Um, That's good. Um, yeah, I think I'm doing all right. I'm, um, 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 you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> no, that's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a lot harder than what it, because I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I can do this, you know, but like you say, when you're up here by yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. It, it's a bit, da- and, and I'm still getting used to how things work. Yeah. You know? um, those, those two videos I sent you last night, um, watch at your leisure. But yeah. um, there's some really good tutorials out there. And that, yeah, that one I came across, um, they have some really good stuff. And I think I think we could all get some valuable uh, information out of it in terms of, you know, little yeah. improvements and just generally understanding how, how things, um, how things, you know, work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, tutorials are good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that one, the, those two I sent you, that mob, they they seem to do that pretty regularly, um, and they have a. Oh, excuse me. They have quite a few um, tutorials, and it's just little things, and that's that. Uh, even watch, I watched them last night, and um, there was just a couple of little things that just made it so much easier on yeah. here. Uh, and I probably need to sit down and watch it again just to, right. um, just to uh, you know, refresh the memory. Yeah. So Medicine Man says hello. G'day, Medicine Man. Um, who was it that wanted to share their channel? That's what I heard on YouTube. Yeah. Um, a lady called The Brave Muriel. Oh, there's the comment again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so put the link in the chat and I'll have a look at it later. Yeah. Yeah, I, I said oh, that right. because I'm only hosting it today, that's a decision I couldn't make because it's your channel. And Yeah. I don't, I don't mind if people share links in the chat. The thing I'm worrying, I worry more about is what they do up on screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, well, no one's, no one's come in. I did send the link uh, to Mick. But I haven't heard anything from him, and uh, we've just got uh, a number of people in the chat here. Actually, I don't know how many people have we got in the chat, Robo. Five. Sorry. Five people watching. Right. It says uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a number five next to the time. Oh yep, yeah, righto. Yeah, I see it now. I'm with you. I, I, I get you. Yeah. There's, a, no, there's a number five right next to the the length of the live stream. Yeah. Well, hey, for an impromptu live stream, that's all right. Time of the day, all that sort of thing. That's that's, um, that's and it's good that we've be, we're almost in an hour too, so that's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so we might um, we might wrap it up soon, I think, maybe. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'll um, actually, what I might do is to to finish off the live stream. I'll point the I'll point the the camera back towards the mini train so that hopefully. The mini train will be the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, that that would be that would be a good um, good thumbnail. Yeah, because I haven't worked out how to do custom thumbnails yet. <laughs> yeah, so I'll go that way. Go that way. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Um, well, that's that's what we're here to do, Robbo. We're here to learn and help each o- help each other and. Um, that's right. You know, uh, Laura, yes, Robbo will be back on tonight. Uh, yeah, usual time tonight. Yeah. Did you want me to um, set that up, Robbo? Schedule it for eight o'clock. Um, yeah. Uh, after you, I, what, did, what did you have? What did you have to do after you scheduled it? Did you did you do anything else after you scheduled it? Um. Did you did, uh, did you have, did you have to just start the stream right on time or? No, no, I didn't have to start the stream right on time. I actually um, started it uh, about sort of 30 seconds beforehand and then I played the 30-second timer. Um, so um, I can't remember what I did. but So what it does, 
what it, what it did when I set the schedule, uh, yeah. 30 minutes beforehand, it sends a notification out. Uh, oh, actually, no. No, it'll actually come up in the list on YouTube of oh. um, that you're going on at 8 o'clock tonight. And obviously, it's up to you, like you say, whether you uh, start on time or not. And um, then, then I, I entered the, the – I went live about 30 seconds beforehand uh, and then played the 30-second countdown timer and then came on screen. That's – it's just something I, I played with. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to watch the replay to see how I go, see, see, see where I screwed up, if I screwed up. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, no, uh, you, I guess you can schedule it for 8 o'clock tonight, and I'll see if I can work out how to start the live stream from doing that. Well, well, what you, what you, you just go, um, you, you log in as per normal, and yeah. then you enter the studio, and then you can bring yourself in. So um, you just do everything as per normal. Just do all, everything. All it's, and it just hit go live right on 8 o'clock, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. you could always go in earlier and do the countdown timer, um, yeah. but it's up to you. If you don't want to do that, don't don't do it. It's just it's just something I tried doing to learn how it how it worked. That's that's what I did. Oh, uh, yeah. No, fair enough. All right. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I'll see. I'll see how we go tonight. Okay. Yep. No. All right. Well, look, I'll I'll leave it. Come in early, like I usually do. Sorry, you're breaking I'll, up there, Robbo. I'll still come in backstage early like I usually do. Yep, yep. Send out the invites and all that sort of stuff like I usually do. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, um, that's that's the other thing because because it's already set up. You can use you should be able to you use, you can use that link and send it out to people before time if you. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So they're not only getting a notification on YouTube, but they're also getting you sending it through your message, you know, your personal messages or email yeah. or however you want to do it. So, yeah, there's there's a number of options out there, that's for sure. Yeah. Laura, Laura thinks I'm about to get arrested by that, that siren that just... Well, that, that, <laughs> that siren <laughs> is actually m me. I'm, that's my siren in the background. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. That's I, I didn't. I didn't even think that would come through, but it's quite loud. So, I I live right around the corner from uh, the hospital here. Like I, I virtually back onto the back of the hospital, and yeah. the other side of me is the fire and ambulance station. So, we oh. have um, we have sirens all all day and night, you know, and flashing lights and all that sort of stuff. It's just. Just part of uh, where we live here, so yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's not. It's one of those things you you're that used to it now. You don't take much notice of it. So yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> know, um, as, as you would have seen, my lovely wife brought up a um, a cup of tea and some yummies for me to eat. Yeah, and, man. Um, How about so we have we, a live stream so you can go do, eat that and drink? Yeah, that. mate. Yeah, uh, unless. Uh, you don't want to see me eat uh, tea and cake on on screen. We might well, do that another time. You can do it. You can do a live food review. <laughs> oh, no, well, look, tell you how train mad I am. I've got a cup with a train on it. Hang on. <laughs> nice. So that. that's there. You go. Oops. Very nice. There it is. That's that's the steam loco. That's, that's nice. the one at the Rowie yeah. Museum at Woodford. Very anyway. nice. Well, all right, Robo. Um, Thanks for letting me host host this and um, doing yeah. the live cross. It's been it's been really good. And well, uh, thank let, you, I'll everyone. Let, I'll let you hit the end broadcast button. Yep, no worries. But uh, I will. Uh, so uh, I'll say thanks to you, thank for, you. Thank you for hosting, uh, and thanks to everyone that came in. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll see you tonight. Yep. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, Robbo. And see you tonight at 8 o'clock. As I always say, catch us in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>